Throughout the history of the NBA, player skill was determined by counting their box score numbers and observing their impact through the eye test. However, as we enter the age of big data, we now have cameras in every arena that allow us to measure and quantify massive amounts of data from each play. Teams are now trying to use this data to find new and innovative ways to value players and strategies. Analytics are all about finding value and identifying players who may not fill up the box score, but still have a big impact. Because while the box score does a great job of recording which player scores the points or grabs the rebounds, it ignores all the other contributions, which is like giving all the credit for a great movie to the star while ignoring everyone else who worked on it. Every statistic can be collected selfishly. A point guard may have a lot of assists, but if he passes up wide open shots to try to increase his numbers, he is actually hurting his team. While a player who tips rebounds to teammates and boxes out well gets nothing in the box score, despite having helped his team more. However, with the use of new analytics, teams are now more concerned with how the team performs as a unit than individual numbers. These new analytics help highlight players doing the little things to help the team and exposes players who may collect a lot of stats but are actually hurting the team. Efficiency is another key factor in today's NBA, as teams will often score over 100 points per game, but the outcome is often decided by just a few points, highlighting the importance of every shot and possession. Field goal percentage is highest near the basket and decreases with range, but the three-point line provides an extra reward to go along with the greater risk. Points per shot measures the expected outcome of each shot by calculating the field goal percentage times the points awarded. The numbers show that the best way to score is close to the basket from three or by getting to the foul line. And teams are noticing, with three-point shots skyrocketing and mid-range shots dropping. The chess match of teams trying to maximize efficient shots through new strategies is just beginning. Defense used to be a hard factor to measure, but with new advanced statistics, teams can now track how a player's defense impacts opponent's shooting percentage by comparing how a player normally performs versus when guarded by that player and also identify where on the court they are most effective defensively. The ability to analyze players' tendencies, strengths, and weaknesses allow good defenders to force opponents out of their comfort zone and into inefficient shots. These small and subtle defensive adjustments can go unnoticed to the casual fan, but can result in lowering the shooting percentage of an opponent and be the difference between a victory or defeat. Analytics are changing the game, but there are still many who aren't on board with the movement. One common argument is that winning in the NBA is more about talent than analytics. A group of college players won't beat the Warriors, and players like LeBron and Curry will continue to lead their teams to championships no matter how advanced other teams' analytics become. While the superstar nature of the league is undeniable, analytics allow stars to amplify their skills and have helped three-point shooters and defensive stars move into the spotlight, while inefficient volume shooters are now struggling to find jobs. There is also a lack of buy-in from some players who made it to the NBA without the help of analytics and need time to adjust to the new ways. Players used to study opponents by watching tape, but now are given sheets of papers and expected to understand. Many of the new analytics are not easily digested by players or fans and lack the same universal understanding of traditional statistics. Time needs to be spent explaining new methods and not laughing at people who are slow to jump on the new trends. While analytics might not have all the answers, there will always be a limited supply of superstars and teams need to come up with new and creative ways to find talent and utilize players to their maximum potential. Analytics are simply a tool to help make better decisions because there's value attached to everything and every spot on the roster can potentially be leveraged into something better.